Right guys, in my recent review of the NV400, the One Leaf NV400 with ballistics calculator, I quickly went over how to tune your ballistics calculator in. I just want to go over that just very quickly in this video, um, away from the review, because this method will work with your um, Hick Micro, Alpex 4K, uh, your Zulus, your Cheetah, the MV400, anything with a ballistics calculator, LRF ballistics calculator, calculator this, this method will work. So you need to put all your information in there as accurately as possible. The important things is the scope height and the feet per second. Once that's all in there, you can have a look for the predicted BC of a pellet. Now, recently I've been setting my 2.2 up and that's using Crossman Premiers. In Strelok Pro, the suggested BC for that pellet is 0 0.019 BC. I took it out in the field and I tuned it using this method and it's shooting at 0 0.034 in my gun and that's tried tested and it is beautifully accurate. Like I say, you've still got to put the scope height in, you've still got to put the feet per second and that's got to be as accurate as possible. Um, the rest of the stuff still needs to be accurate, but they're the two things. And then you put you, your suggested BC in and I'm going, to, I'm going to walk you through this. What I've done, I zeroed my rifle at 25 yards on a target like this. Ignore these two dots, they're irrelevant at the minute, but I zeroed it at 25 yards. I then placed this one out or one similar to this obviously, at 50 yards. I ranged it and I got the shooting solution, the predicted shooting solution, and I used that solution to aim dead on and it went high. So this, are, I'll put these up to illustrate um, points of impact. So you're using the shooting solution here at 50 yards after zeroing and it's gone high. So then what I've done, I increased my BC in the scope by 0.2. So it started off at 0.019. I then increased it to 0.021 and then 0.023. And I kept going, I kept going between shots. So every, every time you adjust it, take another shot, still point, and you'll see if it's shooting high and you increase that BC in your scope, even though you're aiming there, that, that point of impact is going to slowly come down, come down, come down. Um, and eventually, you'll get it absolutely bang on. Then take it back to 25 yards, shoot your zero, and just make sure it's still on zero, and it will be. And then range something closer. I did 11 yards, and it hit bang on. And then I'd done 92 yards, um, which is around about where my reticle zeroed out on a 2.2 sub-12. Um... And, and again, it was bang on. Now, if you've done your 25 yard zero and then move this out to 50 yards and it's low, the pellet's doing worse than the BC. So take it down 0.02. So you're starting at 19. Let, let's just say 20 so I can do it quickly in my head. So you're starting at 0 0.020. So you take it down to 0 0.018 and then 0 0.016 and you'll see again that coming up to meet your zero on the shooting solution and then try your short range and long range but that's how you tune your bc the bc of the pellet the suggested bc of the pellet that you'll find in streloc pro etc like that it's very very rarely dead on you, you it's not so you will need to tune it and the way to tune your whole thing as one is to tune the BC of the pellet, but you need to make sure that the other information is in the scope as accurately as possible. All right, guys, I hope this helps you. Take care.